In today's COVID-19 update, Governor, oh, let me move this way. Uh, going forward too, they're hoping for the same thing. Oh, pass, we uh, crap. Oh, past we crack uh, cremation, pardon me. Right now, nearly 1,800 people are hospitalized. That is a record high for the state. Well, tonight, the Davis County Sheriff's Office asking people not to go to the Davis landfill. In Washington, President Trump has still not conceded the election. He's tweeted fresh claims about erection, election irregularity. Hey everyone, happy Friday, another week down. Here's some of your trop. <laughs> I can't. And the governor's best advice, avoid interactions. And if you do have to go out, treat every interaction like that person is contagious with the virus. Let's now check in with Mary. She's a look at traffic this morning. Good morning, Mary. Hey, good morning to you. Here comes the camera. There we are. Hi, there we go. Welcome. <laughs> we're going to return you to regular programming, but looking ahead again, we're going to have an update from government officials in Fulton County regarding the ballot counting process. <laughs> C3. C3P, how do you say that? Oh my gosh, C3PO. C3PO, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can watch now on Disney Plus. Listen, I've heard it said before, I've said it, but just seeing it in the prompter is like, C3, C3P. okay. Plus it's too early for all that. Plus in the prompter it says zero. <clears throat> my apologies, I am so sorry. Got a little choked up <clears throat> as we came back there. Folks. Live and in person this morning at 5.55, the stories you need to know before you go. A quarter of a... <laughs> it's actually... Oh, excuse me. Put that. Oh, no. Like, oh, 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 on the... Uh, this is... Um, if you need to take a moment, we can come over. back to you. The <laughs> umbrella is gone. Um, we'll come uh, back to you. This is going to be one of those ones... This will be one of those clips that will go viral, no doubt. Yeah, for November, you know, we're thinking about Thanksgiving next week, and we've got temperatures uh, flirting with 80 degrees as we head on into the afternoon. Hello to my kindergartner, who is now done with his virtual learning for the day. Even Hank, the five-year-old, could belt this forecast out because we're talking upper 70s. Hey, Kyle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. Well, I didn't hear any cues in my interview. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, 623 is your time. This isn't the same group of penguins from the Madagascar movie. In Ohio, polls close at 7.30. We should be getting the first initial report at around 8. It's a very windy morning. Oh, that is not good. At 8 o'clock, of course, though, it could be a long night, just as it is a very long morning for me. For now, back to you in the studio. Yeah, absolutely. I, I vote for you finding a place with less wind this morning, Clancy. Uh, Hi. What's on your post-it note there, Linz? Oh, my post-it note? Well, this is oh, a new uh, so laptop. Pretty. It is my <laughs> password, in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> Just going to take that off. <laughs> Happy Monday. Thanks for waking up with two to start your week off. I'm Travis Guillory. And I'm Corey Duke. And I do have good news for you, Travis. Today is actually Tuesday. Thank goodness we already made it past Monday. Oh, is it? Yes. Thank goodness. You know what? I'm just going to scoot on over. You can take it over from there. You can take it over. I'm done. <laughs> At this point, you know what? We'll just, we'll I've just... been in quarantine for too long. But when it plays out in real time, it kind of feels very different from those scenarios that we had talked about. Interesting contrast with President Trump. Let's just make this clear. There was Joe Biden coming up on stage. We seem to have lost Christian. That's a magical disappearing act. Wow. I'm impressed with that. I'm back. You just disappeared, Christian. It was sort of rather glorious. Um, anyway, you're back. It was a bit like Harry Potter. You disapparated to another studio. If you think that politics has gone to the dogs, it has, at least in one Kentucky town. Wilbur the French Bulldog is the mayor elect of Rabbit Hash, Kentucky, and he's not a new breed. The town has elected a dog mayor every four years since the 1990s. Wow, politics sure is rough out there. 
You get it? I go. Rough, like, how, because they. How can they say you rough. not? A live look at the Ben Franklin Bridge as you work your way in toward uh, Philadelphia. Mike and Alex, today is National Hug Your Teddy Bear Day. I had no idea. So look who just got up with his teddy bear. Oh, Austin. Oh, Austin. Come on. It's a great teddy bear, a big one. Teddy bear time. <sighs> yeah, snuggle time. Okay, I'll <laughs> tell you a you secret. Guys. What? That's Bob's teddy bear. It's not Austin. Oh, oh, oh sorry. No, Don't. Not at all. Yeah. Uh, and I know Everett is, is one of our traditions. Are you serious right now? <laughs> Where the clowns Where go the, by. That one hurts. And they toss all of the... <laughs> Ow! I'm calling the cops. That one... We wanted you to feel right Jeez. at home. <laughs> wow. And this is Cherie, who is always with us in our treehouse for the parade, uh, that that gets hit in the head woo, with these two. But we love man. the distinguished clowns and the special moments that they give us on the parade route, and we look forward to seeing them in person. Good uh, Wednesday afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. I know it is so windy outside and so cold. You can see those clouds moving in, Jeff. I know. I have to address the obvious right now. We have a couple of dogs behind me, and I oh good. Be quiet. Good. But, um, <laughs> That'll keep you warm. Sure. Oh, and tails are exactly, wagging. Exactly. That exactly. Means... Now's probably not the time <laughs> to leave your pets outside. Is that Doug? Who? Which they, one is that? I wanted to come say hi, Jeff. Yes. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Ain't nothing like good love. Friday morning in progress. It's been show open. Take two. Friday morning. In... <laughs> take three. Friday morning in progress. So very glad you're with us here for 3 in the morning. I'm Jared Willich. Whew. We are all a little bit worn out waiting for these election results, and we're still waiting. Yeah, yeah. We'll keep you posted throughout the day. One thing we do know, Joseph, me, me, me are all just... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm worn out because of the tropics. You guys are worn out because of the... <laughs> How about this weather, Joseph? Well, we have a sunrise. I think that's the one thing we're certain of. <laughs> Meanwhile, the weather today was kind of ooey-pooey, but it's going to be a lot better tomorrow. There's that transition. <laughs> the king of Segway strikes again. <laughs> Two degrees and sunny. <laughs> 45 on oh Monday. Mark, <laughs> get it together, weekend. buddy. Oh. <laughs> uh, 30s early next week and then back to the 40s on Friday and Saturday. Nicely played. <laughs> We'll send it back to you guys in studio. Casey, the line is so long, you're out of breath just walking it. I'm curious, do you have hey. any idea? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a lot. I'm just stressed out, okay? It's the anxiety. It's not it's my mask. physical fit. Oh, how dare you, Grace? <laughs> yeah, on the mask, you can't barely breathe. I'm not out of breath. <laughs> oh, man. It was not a statement about Call you, Casey. Out. <laughs> it was a statement about the line and how Sure, about the length of the line. And, and that was a mile I walked when you cut away the video. participate in the oh, voting man. process today. <laughs> I am shook, my friend. <laughs> wow. So the, the cruise from Sioux City to <laughs> Florida <laughs> is stuck in Omaha. <laughs> You know, I, I honestly do feel really bad for them. Jeez, I guess. I know. Because well, when, when you have a dream and you want to do it, and it doesn't get accomplished. Not all adventures go smooth. Man. It's an audition. Jerry Ann, do the oh, work. Oh, no. Oh, man. I'm crying. I need a tissue. I think Andy should do the weather. Wondering for the boy dogs. There's probably a button. Okay. <laughs> or a zipper or something. Do you Velcro. Th you don't think it seals up on the under <laughs> <laughs> no, undercarriage? Because that would be a hassle. Yeah, girls um, too. Well, but girls, if I know my dogs, right? <laughs> yeah, let's not work this out on black But then they have, it's open in the back. You know, generally, uh, generally it's open in the back. <laughs> Move along. PJs Steve. are open in the back for dogs because mm -hmm. a dog is shaped like a tube. <laughs> and at the end of the tube, that's all dogs. Again, work. we were doing so well. No, we weren't. We were doing great. Now, are you looking for a snack to tickle your taste buds? Karen, do you like your taste buds tickled? Every day. <laughs> Before nine, <laughs> if possible. <laughs> Don't eat that. Ha <laughs> ha
Sorry. God. Tony, Tony Kill from, from Cornucopia Restaurant is helping us eat. Sorry, this morning would help you match his neck. <laughs> Thanks, Connie Flower Fritters, Avocado Basil Cream. Tony, I'm sorry for that. No problem at all, no problem at all. It was Good morning. Yeah, off. I know, I saw that. <laughs> Good morning. Sorry. Oh, okay. Right. All right. It's 625 right now. You want some fries with that election? <laughs> How about a beer? Americans apparently answering yes to both. Sounds good right about now. Google shows searches for fries and liquor stores. Saw huge spikes on election day. Who doesn't know where their closest liquor store is? I could point you to three with my eyes closed right now. <laughs> people also search for pizza, Chinese food, sushi, Mexican food. Yeah, they say people are using comfort food and booze to ease their election anxiety. Hopefully when it's all said and done, a jogging trails near me. <laughs> will also top the search list. Blaine and I talk about this often. What is your top stress food? Pizza. An pizza. Entire pizza. Pizza. Mine, potato chips. Oh, just a, some potato chips because you have to crunch the feelings away. <laughs> just, <laughs> that's my favorite. Show me the lie. Hmm. Now, a, a British musician has been playing the piano to monkeys at historic sites in Thailand to raise awareness of their hunger. Paul Barton had a bit of a tough crowd to please during the concert, with the audience of macaques tugging on his hair stealing his music, and as you can see, <laughs> climbing all over the piano. Thailand is seeing a reduction in the number of visitors due to the coronavirus pandemic, which has meant there are fewer visitors to feed them and fewer funds to look after them. Well, uh, the monkeys are in fact his latest audience. He previously played Bach, Schubert, Chopin and Beethoven for more than a decade to elephants at retirement sanctuaries The weather, Matt Taylor. Look a lot like Christmas on oh, Fountain Square oh, downtown, goodness. but it's given people a little bit of a chuckle. Goodness. Here's the tree that's now the centerpiece oh. on the square there near the fountain. Oh. 3CDC says they know this is a work in progress. Apparently, there's always work to be done on the Christmas tree when it arrives downtown every year, but it's slower this year because of the pandemic, and this is getting a lot of attention on social media. Many are calling for Charlie Brown and friends to join hands around it and sing. <laughs> it is good it, morning. It's so <laughs> Once they get the ornaments and tinsel, it'll it be fine. Takes a little and some love. It's got to perk up from being tied up on That's the truck. Right. It does. You, yeah. When you first cut the, right. cut the things, it's got to you know. perk. It's got to perk. Now, perk. now here's Jen with traffic. We, just, we hurt people so bad. I know. Like. Sorry. We're sorry. <laughs> Speaking of the holidays, it's already shining bright over at Coney Island. The Christmas Knights of Lights drive-through was a two and a half million. Oh, I'm sorry. Two. <laughs> let me say that again. Two and a half mile light show synchronized to Christmas music. There millions of miles of lights. <laughs> millions of lights for miles, maybe. There you go. All right. This year, the new additions include singing trees, hidden elves, and a 300 foot tunnel. The show kicked off tonight. It runs through January 9th. Times are dusk until 10 o'clock with extended hours on the weekends, and the cost is $7 per person. Millions. <laughs> there will also be a citywide scavenger hunt with a five thousand dollar prize not million five thousand dollar prize five billion dollars <laughs> and it's gonna be like a million degrees this weekend for folks getting out on the ice uh, million degrees okay. at least just, just keep coming something like that uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, i'm not gonna let you live it down there megan everyone wants to serve a perfect turkey on thanksgiving day but what you don't want is your butterball bird to transform into a bubbling fireball Nashville firefighters showed what could happen if you try to cut corners next week. If you're frying a turkey, make sure it's completely thawed in advance. If not, the frozen water will react with the hot oil and cause a dangerous fireball. This year we're expecting more just because more people are, are staying home and more people are cooking. You know, when you go to the stores, you know, you see the more the turkeys are not on the shelves as much. If you're going to fry your turkey, keep a fire extinguisher on hand. 
Thanksgiving is the worst day of the year for cooking fires in the U.S. Sorry. Behind the scenes stuff. A Clarksville floral designer is taking her talents to the White House. Yeah. <laughs> As News Channel 5 seen as Lane reports, Cassie Peterson is getting ready to head to D.C. to be part of the White House Christmas decorating is going to the dogs. And now they're right. Raise the Wolf is... <laughs> is the first Christmas single written specifically for dogs. It was made using scientific research into how dogs interact with sound. Early footage of dogs listening shows they love it. Dogfoodcompanytales.com says they played more than 500 sounds to a focus group of 25 dogs to see their response. The final result was even recorded at the individual studio, Abbey Road. Help me. <laughs> This newscast is going so well. It's so well. I'd like to see the dogs. Do they have a variety? I love it. We got we to gotta include folks. Okay, we're moving it along. We're moving it along. So I've been with Arizona's family for about five years. I have never <gasps> covered snow in the field. What? And I have never done a snow angel. Oh, really? This is the first? That's waiting all, for. This, that all changes. The original plan was to wear a Speedo. People put that on hold. That's not going to happen. Which shocks so me. I, thought I can't we believe it. We need to somehow make it. We need to make this a little epic. So we're going to do Snow Angel right here. I have affixed some sparklers <gasps> to my feet. Whoa. Oh, boy. Stepping it up a right, Hold on. Bear with me here. Maybe his, his fingers are the numb. They're not working. Just, just do your Snow Angel. We can't go to COVID stuff and then come back to Ian. He's going to have to just drive down just to Just do your speedo. angel. Come on, man. Just oh. take the layers off. All right. <laughs> oh, it didn't happen. I'm going to light the... Hold on here. Hold on, Lou. Hold on. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, that... I knew that was going to happen. Well, a there for it is. C minus for execution. And I even. We're going to pick up the confetti, don't worry. Uh, I even affixed a <laughs> butter knife to my boot <laughs> to try to get these to work. <laughs> Who uses those old lighters anymore anyway? <laughs> Obviously, it didn't work. <laughs> I know. I should have brought a, I should have brought a torch. <laughs> oh, you're right, Scott. The Speedo. Oh, my God. The Speedo would have been a better plan. Sometimes it's more fun when but things don't happened. go there as planned. There you go. Man. And what do you know? Of course, it's a, it's a, lame, it's a lame one as well. That was a lot of buildup. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. <laughs> was, it was awful. <laughs> Not going to live this one down. Uh, your first one. That's memorable. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Starting I'm today, you to can laugh. order them for about 19 bucks a bag, Ava. Listen, you have choices, too. Dark turkey meat and cranberry or breast meat as well. I'm sorry. I'm trying to bring myself together. <laughs> It was a What's big so fan funny? Of I think it's brilliant. Uh, so does she. Can't you tell? Hey, listen, <laughs> even like if you go by McDonald's and other places, nuggets, uh, it's hard to deny, you know? They're, <laughs> they're good anytime. Ava, come on. <laughs> Please explain what Susan said. <laughs> so, I don't know if I can say that on television. Thank you very much. So we're going to keep talking about <laughs> <laughs> it's good for kids, though, she right? Was alluding I mean, to the nuggets being another part of the turkey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. Lacey, your kids love <laughs> chicken nuggets, correct? I think most kids would say thumbs up to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared to go back to Ava, but we have to do weather at some point. That's because in Colorado we have something called Rocky Mountain Oysters. Okay, we all right. Let's go to Lacey first. Lacey, we'll talk traffic. Ava gets it together. No, I got it. I got it. I oh, got no, it. She's ready. I got, she's got waterproof it. mascara. I'm good. She's ready to go. All right. um, we are starting out with some light rain showers, and it is going to be um, a lot cooler uh, through the next couple of days. I'm going to compose myself. This is like when you're laughing at church. <laughs> exactly. It just makes it worse. Temperatures are right now in the 40s, and uh, it does feel cool out there especially as there's some drizzle this morning. We'll have partly cloudy skies by middle of the day and then more sunshine into the afternoon. Low 60s today. And again, this does kick off a cooler than normal weather pattern. Who knew that this, who knew that this would be your <laughs> kryptonite here? Hey, I'm going to help you out with this graph. 62 on Friday, closer to normal. Susan, she's, 
She's not allowed. Susan's not allowed in here anymore. <laughs> Advertise 58. Oh, Lacey, it is getting cooler. Let's, we'll have some rain on Sunday. <laughs> let's let's change the subject. <laughs> I think once you open that can, you really can't put the lid back on, Ava. Go take a break.